Well, hello, everybody, and welcome to what is the opening day of the 16th European Championships. 55 UEFA member states tried their hand at becoming the finest of them all. Now we are left with the 24 who have made it to these finals. Opening day certainly has a special feel to it. The atmosphere combustible but joyous as we usher in a new era for this competition together with the hopes and aspirations of all that take part. Worth reminding ourselves too that 2020 is the 60th birthday of these championships and it is for that special reason that the competition is being held right across the continent. Wonderful scenes here in the Dutch capital inside this terrific arena. One that does more than justice to the stature of the man whose name it bears. Quite some performance, and now here comes the response. So it is upon us, their opening game, and what they hope will be the first of many fine games in this championship. All I hope is that these nations, as well as the players, of course, can make a good account of themselves. And I also like the fact that such excitement isn't just something that one host country has the monopoly of. It's shared by so many people across the continent, literally, and that certainly created a, an extra special buzz. So it's down to business here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, Jordan Pickford. He's a great all-round goalkeeper, Peter. Uh, great at shot stopping and dominant in his box. He also gets counter-attacks going with his accurate long passes. The opposition should be a little wary of committing too many men forward to attack because if it does break down, this guy can get them in trouble pretty quickly. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. He's through, now is he in? Yeah, he was under pressure to get that exactly right. And he couldn't even think of the consequences. It was instinctive and rock solid. Perisic does well there, alert. Forward it goes. Croatia can't make any sort of inroad despite all this possession. Kane. He's left his man. Good run, ultimately thwarted by an astute piece of defending. Crowd appreciates good football all round there. Kane! Goal! England! First blood drawn. That really is quite fabulous. All his own doing. Kane showed real composure then. I mean, how often do you see a player do everything right until he gets into the box, only to completely kind of fluff the finish? Not him. England take the lead. 1-0. 
Surprise, surprise. He just keeps on delivering, and listen, we all expect that. Croatia, disappointing in the end there. They lack urgency. Decent looking ball. Chance! Chance! Oh, that is rather wayward. I think he still deserves full marks for making his way through. It was a, it was a cracking run. Now it's Kane. Room for a shot. He's had a go! They've done it! All too easy! They are in danger of disappearing out of sight! What about that, Jim Beglin? It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew, and yet they didn't heed, and they paid the price and deserved to. England got themselves a two-goal cushion. The turning of the screw comes to mind, Peter. They've got them where they want them. Tramaric. And that will be the last act of the first half. What do you think we're up to after 45 minutes? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? England in control at half-time, 2-0. Here we go again, then. Brozovic. Modric. It's a loose ball. Grealish. Modric. Grealish. It was a move that looked promising, but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Kane. Hits one! Managed to get it away. Played out to the right. And Trippier. And it's Grealish. Grealish plays it forward. Danger averted for now. shot a real chance and a real let off well he accepted the invitation to have a pop and that defense was confident he wouldn't succeed Rebic was alert to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary. Uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Lovren. Modric. Sancho, two assists to his credit already. And here's Rashford. That's pretty clear, it is a foul. And the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Well, I think the alternative was to stand there and, and do nothing while he, he tried to score. And obviously, he's not going to allow that, Peter, is he? England looking to pull clear here. Trippier ready to try one.
out for a goal kick. Rashford. England have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. Big chance! <laughs> so, time for changes on both sides, actually. And that's left him on the seat of his pant. Shoots! And more, and more, and more! And the lead is extended still further. Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. Take a three goal lead and they are romping out of sight. Vida. Kovacic. Modric gets it back and it's Sterling. Sancho. It has gone and Sterling! Another chance! Comfort, yet more comfort, easing away. He was so alert to the possibilities there, great stuff. Well, for me, that's just pure predatory brilliance. It's not so much the finish, but the way he read the situation, when nobody else was even alert to it. It's fantastic. <laughs> Become a case of men against boys. And there goes the final whistle. England starts as they wanted to start. All three points. The first three points. Crucial. Your reflections then, Jim. Well, they've laid down a marker.